Speaker of Parliament Alban Bagwin is tonight the subject of an onslaught by the NPP majority side in Parliament, led by the majority leader and Minister for Parliamentary Affairs himself, or Sek Chairman Sabonsu. The majority leader has been suggesting that the Speaker may have been responsible for the chaos in Parliament and conspired to have the budget rejected because the finance uh, minister did not meet his demands. Mr. Mensa Bunsu claims Mr. Bagbin held a budget talks for hours on the day the budget was read because he wanted 1.7 billion cities from government revenue allocated to Parliament. Listen. 20th December 2021 and the time is 11.17 a.m. Good morning, Mr. Speaker. Trust you are well today. The Finance Committee has programmed to sit on the e-levy at 12 noon. Their report cannot be ready before 2 o'clock p.m. In the event, I propose that the House sits at 2 o'clock p.m. I and the Honorable Minority Leader shall see you at 1 p.m. in your office before <coughs> sitting. Mr. Speaker. So that was the first communication. So when the meeting spanned beyond three, then I sent another communication. Yeah, because I called him, he couldn't pick. And then I sent another communication. That's 15.46 p.m. That's 3.46 p.m., the second message. This week. Mr. Speaker, the Finance Committee just finished, and therefore it means we can only sit at 5 p.m. as they are now going to write and print their reports. Want to have a bite of something and come to see you at about 4 30 p.m. Thank you. So that was it. And the speaker apparently read these messages because they ticked twice. Also, Chairman Sabons also dismissed suggestions by the minority side that the procedure for the House to consider the e levy and the certificates of agency was breached. That he doesn't want to remind him of what his own father did to President Hillary Liman. That was the speaker. So all that is playing out. Is it to satisfy what the speaker indicated at the very beginning of the presentation of the budget? That this budget, you make sure the budget was rejected. Is that the case? The people of this country ought to know the mindset of this speaker with respect to his budget. So all this playing out, really, and that is why he sits and he lets to leave the chamber to create problems. Mr. colleagues, I told you that some clergymen, the cream of the uh, of Christendom in the country have met me. I'm not going to speak for any long time. But these people of this country should know what is leading all of us into this, into this crime. 1.72 billion for what? He says that he has information that the total revenue of this country was going to be 89 billion. And that the finance minister should give him 2% of it. And that works to 1.72 billion. If he doesn't give parliament 1.72 billion, then his budget is going to be thrown out. So he's going to make sure that the budget was rejected. Is that where we are going as a country? Is that where we are going as a country? I'm hoping that this period that we have between now and the 18th of January, we'll be able to get to the bottom of this and rally together as one people in one country with a common destiny and not submit to the whims and caprices of just one individual, this nation, 